So it was a little cold today. I came down here. I wanted to catch one fish just so I could see what um, what they're eating. I wasn't able to film it, but I'm going to show you what I'm up to. So I just took a sample out of the stomach of a fish I caught. I wanted to see what he was eating and let's see what we've got here. Other than it looks like potentially um, maybe a little bit of glitter bait. There are some really tiny little things, just moss and plankton. That scale right there is in millimeters, so it's kind of hard to see what those are, but one of the mysteries I've been trying to figure out about the local reservoirs is what the fish are eating this time of year. There is snow on the ground as you can see. Take a look at the lake. No bugs, nothing's hatching. So I used my uh, my trusty harvest rig. Slip shot, barrel sinkle sinker. Uh, looped in there with a treble and some some dough bait. And by the way, that's how I keep my hook from <laughs> sliding back through the rings and being safe. I'll show you that later. But long story short, came up with this after the stomach pump. I've wondered what they've been eating for a long time. And if you take a look really close, I'm gonna need that water to settle. You can see there's these little tiny bugs in there, okay? We've got a lively one. We've got like some uh, wings going on there. I don't know if that's technically a water boatman or what, but the truck's warming up and the bugs I pulled out of that trout's stomach, they're starting to kind of move around a little bit. I'll give them a little bit of a swirl and let's see what we can churn up. Let's see if we can find some other ones that are moving. After fishing today and doing a little research on the internet, I found these freshwater zooplankton and they look really close to what we were able to capture out of the trout's belly. So we're going to need to find a way to imitate that. I noticed also the inside the coloration there was green, black, kind of orangish brown, um, maybe like a little bit of a reddish. There was quite a few colors and they all had kind of segmentation. Made them look kind of like a blood worm or kind of similar to uh, a chronomid type pattern but with a lot of gooey fluff around it. Just need to figure out how to imitate that and imitate maybe a cluster. I know the blob fly is something people say can imitate this type of uh, stuff. I don't know what it's going to take. We'll have to mess around with it. But you've seen what it looks like and so have I. And now I guess we are we need to come up to the task and figure out how to get a pattern and get it down there just off the bottom so it's floating up out of the reeds and the moss and the guck where the fish are so that we can catch them. One more thing to note is how close those look to the larva of like blood worms. And one thing that's also interesting, if you noticed, almost all of them had that little candy cane look on the end. So I thought that was interesting and maybe could be incorporated into a fly pattern. So anyways, uh, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this or maybe learned something.